Welcome to Opal Auctions. Today we have Paul Sedewi, who's the current president of the Opal Association. Today we'll be talking about what a black crystal opal is and how to help you identify it. Can you please explain to us what a black crystal opal is? Well, visually, a black crystal and a black opal are going to actually look the same to you. The only difference is a black crystal is a transparent stone. So if you hold the stone up, you'll actually see, you can see right through the stone. Both stones are very rare, very beautiful. That is basically the only difference. The outward appearance will still be the same. And we use a, a base body tone chart here to say the darkness of a stone. So a crystal, can, a black opal can only be N1 to N4. And the easiest way to look at it is actually to squint at the stone, ignore the colour and pattern, and that's going to determine if it's a black opal. So it's a crystal and a black opal. The only difference is your black opal this is a beautiful black opal. It has black potch on the back. Where you find your black crystal may not have black potch. It'll be just a darker color behind it. So just remember the eye just sees it as a dark, beautiful stone. And that's basically is your black crystal. So how is this formed? Well, actually most uh, opals in Australia are either formed in a knobby or a seam. And this is a piece of seam here that hasn't been cut. You'll see this will cut uh, actually a black stone and this one up top here will most likely cut a crystal. So this is a seam opal. We also have a little bit of this is a uh, knobby opal from the ridge. And this could cut a crystal stone that is uh, transparent and be termed a dark crystal. But it just depends on how dark the stone comes out. What is the di visual differences between a black opal and a black crystal opal? Well, visually, they'll both appear the same because when it's set in jewellery, it actually, if your bezel set it, the darkness of the stone is still going to appear like a black opal. So when you get a stone like this one, you look at it, it's such a dark stone. We put it on the light there and you can see how you can see right through it. You see it's like a, a living, living matter inside of it. So that's basically a crystal. This is probably one of the darkest crystals you can get. It's an N2. You can see it's transparent so it's called a dark crystal set this in a ring and it's just a beautiful black opal mm -hmm. so the crystal part is actually just another classification mm -hmm. only because it is transparent it's a crystal but it's black so it's actually very rare to find just as rare as black opal Wonderful. and if you shine a light on a black opal how does it look well this is a black opal here you'll see it's just completely opaque dark and you just see the beauty of the black stone. So that, that's the only difference between it. So it's more just the classification, the beauty is still in the stone. Very interesting. So there is also a black crystal opal from Rello. How can you distinguish the differences between the Australian? Well, there is some natural opal from Wello that's actually treated. So it's a dyed or smoked material. So technically it is a black crystal, but it's a treated stone. So a treated stone to a natural stone are two different things. The wallow opal most likely will lose its colour in a few years, maybe five to seven years, where a natural Australian black crystal is like that forever. Okay. So if you set a black crystal opal on a jewellery, how will it look like? Well, basically, when you set a, a crystal in jewellery, it's going to look the same because... The, if your bezel set it, the light gets reflected in the stone, it may actually look a little bit darker. So sometimes a black crystal when set in jewellery actually comes a little bit blacker. So people will see it and just think it's a black opal and technically it is a black opal, mm -hmm. but just another classification as a crystal. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you'd like to learn more about opals, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.